Um, so hi, I'm Anna, and I'm here to talk about Karamalos Pet Database. Okay. Um, um, so to explain what it is, it's basically a Facebook page for reuniting missing pets. Um, but say how it started, I'm going to go back six years to 2013. So my partner and I, we just moved into our first house together after years of living in apartments. And this was very exciting, particularly for me, because I've always wanted a dog, so finally I could get a dog. So I spent ages looking at the pound, the RSPCA, on websites such as Gumtree, and finally found Omar, as we named him, a gorgeous staffy cross slap. Um, but while I was searching for Omar, um, particularly on Gumtree in the pet section, there was an area for lost and found pets. Um, and people were putting up dogs, like saying, oh, my dog's missing, um, have you seen him? And I'm think, yes, I've actually seen that dog. I saw him when I was at the pound the other day. So I'd message the people and go, hey, your dog's actually at the pound, um, and they'd be very happy and thankful. And I was a bit perplexed as to why these people were not able to locate their dogs themselves. They'd gone through the trouble of putting up an ad on Gumtree, for example, but why weren't they looking at the pound or on RSPCA? Then I looked into it, and actually it was very confusing. So let's say I'm out walking, and I find a dog. I take to the vet. It's not microchip, very common occurrence. What are my options here? So I've got this dog, and I don't know where it belongs. Um, I could take it to the pound, or I could take it to the RSPCA. Or I might want to not do that, I feel sorry for it, so I'll keep it at home and look for the owner. But I'll post on the pound's lost and found website. Or maybe I'll post on the RSPCA's own Lost and Found website, which, by the way, doesn't talk to the pounds. Lost and Found <laughs> website. Uh, or I might put up flyers, I might put up a post on Gumtree, I might call the local clinics at the Knicks and say, hey, I found this dog. If an owner calls, I've got it, this is my number. So the idea was how about let's create one single database where we're going to gather all this information and it's going to have a listing of every single lost and found pet in Canberra and it's going to be all up to date. And it was going to take the form of a website. And I really believed in this. I put in thousands of my own money to create this very professional website um, that basically scraped all this information and also had the functionality for just members of the public and vet clinics to put up their own listings. And um, just to promote the website, just created a Facebook page just to have a bit of a social media presence as well. And the website looked amazing, um, and it was a huge flop. <laughs> no one used it, because uh, people didn't want to use yet another website where they've got to remember and log in details and password and so on. Also, the domestic animal services, or the pound website and the RSPCA website, which it relied on a lot, they were very out of date. So the whole thing wasn't really working, which was quite disappointing. But over on Facebook, something great was happening. Um, it became clear pretty quickly that Facebook was pretty good at getting pets reunited very quickly. And the page just grew and grew. So today we have a community of 34,000 people, and it's growing steadily every month, and it's all organic growth that we're not paying for any promotion or anything. And it's used daily by members of the public, vet clinics, RSPCA, and the rangers, and so on. And it's very successful, so sometimes we get like a photo put up of a dog that's been found, and within minutes, the owner has been tagged and now knows that their dog is safe, and they can be reunited. In terms of the art of the ordinary, I think one person using Facebook that's pretty ordinary. They might be looking at funny videos or memes. But when you have a critical mass, and for this kind of thing, a critical mass is really important, coming together in the one community, you can get pets reunited very quickly. So you might have a photo of a cat that's been found, and someone will recognize, hey, that's my sister's cat, or my colleague's cat, or my neighbor's cat, and that cat can then go home very quickly. The other thing is the people behind the page. So we have a team of about 10 people, just ordinary people, um, but they have a huge passion for what they're doing, and many spend up to five hours a day maintaining the page, because we it's relentless. We get up to 16 messages and posts a day, more on stormy days. Um, 
In terms of plans and ambitions for the future, we want to continue just growing our admin team, and that will also give us more time to do what we really love, which is some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, such as catching. Oh, very good catch, Thompson.